must be funny to think about your Leo being with an older woman. Well, because she is like a proper woman. I know. Like, I mean, there must be a good, what, 20 years between them? 13 years, Angie. There's 13 years between them. 13? Right. Well, might be unlucky for some, but, you know, I have to say, Leo seems very happy. I like her. She seems a genuine person, very nice, very kind. And I bet you probably eats him alive in the sack. That's disgusting. Like I always say, though, boy don't learn to cook in a new oven, right? La, 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 shut up, man. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Ah. What? Could Art trouble you for some nibbles, please? Oh, come on. Leo, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. You're the horse with the most. Come on. What would you like? Hmm. Would you happen to have any Bombay mix? This is ridiculous. Who asks for Bombay mix? She might. Or a hula hoop. Very popular at a party. Or the somewhat eclipse by your friend and mine. The tortilla chip. Oh, give me strength. Leo, cover all bases. This is you and Judy's first night together. If you want things to go smoothly, the trick is to plan ahead. Agree? Agree. Right, let's swap. You be Judy and I'll be you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've got your drinks. You've got your nibbles. I've got my nibbles. What have you got there in the way of nibbles? Just get on with it. So, everything's sorted. I sit back beside you. Bit of chit-chat. <laughs> no, I love panda bears. Then when the time's right, I say something like, Judy, it's time. Oh, come on. What? It's time. What's wrong with that? I'm trying to make her feel comfortable and relaxed, not as if she's about to be led off to the electric chair. OK. Then how about the old classic, the reach around? Jimmy, we're not 14. Straight in with the head on the lap. Looks like a friendly snuggle, but can quickly lead to so much more. Hello. Jimmy! Do you know what I think? I think me and Judy should just relax and be ourselves. New shirt. So, Judy, what do you think? Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you can't charge her for that. I'm not charging her anything. It's on me. It's my treat. Or like trick or treat? I mean, I'm all up for taking the piss, but that's pushing it. What do you mean, man? It's hip, it's cutting edge. Call it whatever you like, she's going out the back door. Well, Pam, what can I say? I know. You look just like Helena Bonham Carter. And who doesn't love her sense of style? Ah, uh, that's what I'm meant to be. And now, just a finishing hair accessory to add just a little touch of gothic. Well, it certainly adds something. So, you up to something special tonight, then, you and Leo, uh, are you? No, just a quiet night in. Right. Cos you and Tony are away for the night, aren't you? That's right, well. Wow. So you two love birds house-sitting, then, are you? <laughs> Anything else I can get for you, Judy? Can I climb her? I've been up that place on the high street that's closing down. Every dress is a fiver. A fiver? Yeah. Oh, Mum, you're too late. It's all gone. Oh, no. Why didn't you ring me? You've never seen anything like it. Oh, actually, you have. You remember when I had to wrestle that little boy for the electric toothbrush on Black Friday? Oh, yeah. Is she back yet? No. Now, remember what I said, Jackie? Yeah, yeah, I got it. You know what she's like? She may seem like she's not nervous, but this will be the first time her and Leo will have chacked, shacked, yeah. So it's a very special time for them, and it's important that we leave them to it. Has she had sex since, well, since the operation? Oh, I've never asked. Right. Some things are personal, Jackie. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, right. But I have read some of her texts from around the time when she was seeing that guy from the pest control, which said she has yes. Hi. In here, love. Oh, 
would you look at that? <laughs> what do you think? Well, for I say, isn't that something? Do, do you like it? Gosh, well, here we are. You do like it? She never said that. It's terrible, isn't it? It's not terrible. Well, Janix, what do you think? Well, it's like... It's hard to put into words, to be honest, Jude. You remind me of someone, but I just can't think who. Oh, I loved her in Planet of the Apes. That's Judy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mum's working magic again. Yeah. This is just your mum's makeup. <laughs> I heard that. Love you. Have you got aftershave on? No. I don't need any. Oh, why don't you come on? Why? Up you go. No. Well, you two, remember the checklist? <laughs> Mum, we're not kids anymore. Don't go around leaving the lights on. Shoes off at the front door, toilet seat down, no leaving the windows <sighs> open with the heating on. And? Put the outside lights on, but I won't be here, so Leo, that's your job. Why, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. James. What am I doing, Leo? Uh, Peggy's asked him if he can help out with some of the cake deliveries tonight. That's right. So let help out, so Judy can have it off. The night, that is. Has he told you where you're going yet? Oh, it's a secret, apparently. Ooh. Oh, God, man, I didn't mean a howl bottle. I'm saying it's top secret, this hotel. Yes, a secret luxury escape. Prepare yourself, Pam, to experience something truly magical. Mm. Haven't I heard that somewhere before? What are you talking about? Would you like us to remind you? Go on. Do the words Scarborough and Scabies ring any bells? Can a man treat his wife to a night of passion once in a while? Ooh, I hope you've packed those pants with the Santa on them. Shut up, man. <laughs> and the flame retardant baby blue pyjamas. And don't forget your dental floss. You know my mum hates it when you pick your teeth with your debit card. Come on, Pam, take a notice. We're only young ones, sir. Let's get cracking. See you. Bye. Bye. Did you pack my statins? <laughs> She's washing it out. I didn't mind it, but as she said, what with the additional height that the style gave her, it meant she was literally skimming door frames. Is she breaking it? She is nervous, I think. Oh, hello. Hiya. 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 Hi, Becky. Oh, come and give us a big squeeze, you. <laughs> Oh, that's better. <laughs> Just you and me in the van tonight, James? Crikey. A bit nervous. Oh, don't worry. You'll be done in no time. She doesn't hang about. Wasn't the driving I was thinking about. Neither was I. <laughs> All right, Leo? Yeah. Uh, good, thanks. For your big night. Oh, Jackie, why don't you go through to the living room, Leo? Judy won't be long. <laughs> Judy! Hi. Oh, hi, lovely. Hi. Mm. So, did you like my new hairdo? Ah, uh, yeah. Wow, well, I actually quite like the messy look <laughs> on men and women. Oh, right. So, you won't mind if I mess your hair? No. Then? <laughs> I spent ages. Oh, my God. Can we there? <laughs> I remember that day. That was the day we all went to Whitley Bay and Jackie got off with the guy in the chippy. <laughs> anyway, listen, won't be long. What's that noise? Can you hear something? It's the sound of your shoes sticking to the carpet. Four stars, Miles. Not to worry. We're gonna have a quiet night. Ordering a bit of room service. The only thing I'll be having sent to the room, Tony, is antibiotics. It's all right, eh? 
can smell cigarette smoke. Hey. Hey. Pubic hair. Four sets of b, &B owners battled out to be crowned best value for money. They'll critique the decor. I'm not staying here, Tony. It's disgusting. And judge one another. Are you trying to get on my nerves? If you're not happy, we'll get another room. Right, well, I'm not, so get one. OK. What, you want me to go? Aye, would you? Have a good night, whatever it is you get up to. Oh, well, probably we'll just get pizza or something. Right. A bit of telly? Yeah, a telly, you know, pizza. Sounds great. OK, well, see you later. OK, yeah. Uh, bye, Mum. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Scared to ask? What do you think? Can you smell wet dog? No. I can smell slightly damp dog. But the sheets are fine. Now, let's just relax. Enjoy yourselves. What are you doing? Just texting our James, seeing if they're all right. Phones away, please. This trip is all about us. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, oh get off this man. Make love to me, woman. Not now, Tony. <sighs> Pam, the grown lads. You haven't got to check up on them all the time. Our two, you do. As long as I don't burn down the house or eat my chipsticks, you can do whatever they like. Am I right? Pam? Pam, are you listening? Not really. Well, there's a surprise. I'd like to talk to you about Christ's kingdom on Earth. I'm sorry, but now it's just not a good time. We've got the Star Wars cake you ordered. Sure up, you. Right. Oh, sorry, yeah. Coming in. Watch where you step. Just pop it down there. Oh, you got something? Oh, thanks. All right, miss. Jake, the man's asked you a question. He's in a proper sulk, is that one? It's his birthday tomorrow, all his friends are coming round, and the kids entertain Ralph Hyde's just freaking cancelled on us. Where's his dad? Get him to dress up. Oh, sorry. Is his dad not around? He's around, but he's busy tomorrow. Busy with his new lady friend, no doubt. Slut. Sorry. Well, thanks for bringing the cake. Right, uh, see you later. I was thinking about Judy. Yeah? Something's occurred to us. I mean, it's been staring us in the face all the time, but I hadn't put the pieces together. What pieces? Well, she's back living with her mum. She hasn't exactly got a real career. She's never been married. Isn't it obvious? It was to me, I. Was it? I worked it out that Sunday in the pub. Did you? I did, I. Right. Well, that's a secret then, isn't it? She's been in prison.
And this is my room. So, this is where the magic happens? Not really. Um, not with James in the house. <laughs> According to him, if you're having sex, you should tie a sock to the door handle. But, I mean, it's not very romantic, is it? Excuse me a moment while I just get my door sock. <laughs> That's not my door sock. Um, uh, uh, oh, God, um, oh, it's not there. <laughs> Never mind. It's time. Sorry? It's time we went downstairs for a drink of something. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Been cheating on me. He came home late, but he didn't go straight to bed. He had a shower, then went to bed. No. Oh, I got it. You found pictures of female feet on his laptop, and you knew they could never be yours. Bite marks on his bum. He said a dog did it. I said, I know. A dog did do it. Now, what's your bloody called? Nice. So, what can I get you? Oh, a glass of wine would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Red or white? Um, I've only got white. Might be lovely. OK. <coughs> Would you care for any nibbles? Nibbles? Um, Bombay mix, for example? Um, maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. Cheers. It's not the most comfortable settee in the world, is it? What? It's true what my mum says. She can't sit on it for any length of time without her arse going numb. She prefers one of the chairs. Unless she's painting her toes. Then she'll sit on the settee so she can get her feet on the table. Leah, hmm? what's wrong? With what? With you. Nope. Nothing wrong with me. Leo, sit down and tell me what's wrong. It's that photo, isn't it? Oh, your bloody mother. But what are you talking about? She tried to make me look sexy and edgy, but I look deranged, hideous, psychotic. Feel free to stop me whenever you want. It's not the photo. Well, then what is it? Well, it's not that photo. Not that photo, then... Oh... I get it. At my mum's. But you knew. I know, but there's no one, and then there's... No one. So... What does this mean, then? I don't know. Do you know... I was thinking to myself the other day... He's too perfect. No one's perfect. He has to have an Achilles heel. I guess this is yours. What does that mean? You say you're okay with it, but... at the end of the day, you just don't have the balls to go through with it. Oh, neither do you. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. I think you should go. This is my house. Salad. What are you doing ever so well, Jackie? Gotta keep trying. Oh, yes. And I'm here to support you all the way. Okie dokie, James. That's our pizzas ready. <sighs> Oh, Bob! 
What's wrong? Uh oh. What's the matter? It's all over with Leo. Was the sex that bad? <sighs> oh, don't worry, they can't hear us. Did he have trouble getting it off? Shut up. Jackie, there's a bowl of wet cream at the back of the fridge. I knew it, Mum. I knew it would end up like this. Come out and manage. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. What's up? Dinner nice time. Hotel nice. Ah, just a smidgen short of the full five stars. It was a shithole. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Leo, I can read you like a book. When you're depressed, you listen to two songs, this one and that one by Spiritualized. Mum, it's on shuffle. The song just happens to be on. Last track. Broken Heart by Spiritualized. Miss Marble's got nothing on you, pet. So what's going on? It's all over with Judy. What? After I spent an hour and a half doing a bloody hair? Yeah, actually, what was all that about? It's not one of your mum's finest. I reckon you wanted to make her look ridiculous. <sighs> no, I didn't. Leo, your mum wouldn't do that. Wouldn't she? Oh, Leo, I'm sorry. Maybe I did. I don't know. When you're a mother, you can't help be overprotective. I didn't mean to hurt you, I promise. It was only a bit of fun. Here, give us a hug. Mm. James! Oh, man, that was right in me lug all. Sorry, where is he? I don't know. I said, are you ready? Yes! Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. It's quite good. in this paper. That's right up your street. Dad, I'm in no mood for a quiz. Let's just see if you can do better than me and your mum, eh? Question one. Can you remember what you said after your first date with Judy? And this quiz is in the paper? It's a local paper. What did you say? No idea. I do. You said, I think she's the one. Doesn't sound like me. You said it, son. Question two. And this is the big one. Why do you never open a window up in here? Better. Final question. Do you love her? What? Do you love Judy? I think I do. Got to be sure, Leo. Cos she's been through a lot, Judy, hasn't she? What do you mean? I know. I know about Judy. She's. She's had a sex change, hasn't she? How did you know? I worked it out. That day when we all went for lunch. I was talking to her, watching her just put two and two together. Does Mum know? Of course she doesn't. Oh, thank God for that. And we're not going to tell her, not just now, anyway. I think your mum just needs a bit of time to get to know her first. <sighs> Agreed. But that's not what really matters right now. What matters is if you feel that Judy's the one, if you're sure about it, then you can't beat around the bush for her sake. What do you think? Doesn't matter what I think. No, I know. I'm just asking, what do you think about me and Judy? 
Is she the woman I'd have chosen for you? Well, she's probably not my first choice. Or my second or my third. Or even my fourth. Okay, Dad. But I can see that she makes you happy. And if you're happy, I'm happy. So are you? What? Sure about Judy, man. <sighs> Yeah, I am. And what the bloody hell are you doing sat here talking to me? Yoda speaks. Mmm! Decide you must how to serve them best. If you leave now, help them you could. But you may destroy all for which they have fought and suffered. Hmm? Probably the worst Yoda I've ever seen. All right. And now, Return of the Jedi. Kulela! Sikiyaya hoopoo! Outside, it's all kicking off. Princess Leia knows it's the only time to escape. So she grabs a chain, wraps it around Jabba's neck, and pulls with all her strength. Cut a Jabba. <laughs> Bit better.